So we're here in Savannah, Georgia with the one and only Iron Chef, Stephanie Eisard. Chef, are you hungry? Always. Fantastic. We're here. At a food truck that's not even open. We're in Savannah. I want something a little more Savannah-y. Do you like pizza? Yes. Do you like bagels? Of course. Do you like kimchi? You know I do. Fantastic. We're here. This is Big Bon Bodega. I... That's just their catering trailer. Okay, okay. Green gosh, sesame, and buffalo cheddar for banh mi. You're going to find some flavor combinations here that you won't find anywhere else in Savannah. You guys ready? It's bagels and pizza, and it's the perfect place. And this crowd-pleasing combo <laughs> is brought to you by Kay Heritage, who's doubling up oven duty. Bagels in the morning. And then it's pizzas in the afternoon. That's right. I can't say that I've seen bagels cooked in the wood-fired oven before. The wood fire oven makes the dough a little bit more smoky. With the variety of flavors they have, you're never dissatisfied here. New Korean mama on sesame. The kimchi with the beef, the cheese. Man, what a combination. What do we start with first, bagels? Yeah. Water, honey, malt syrup, rye flour. Rye not. <laughs> Salt. And yeast. High gluten lancelot flour. You're going to run that mixer for about 16 minutes. So we're going to cut this. You ready to put it in the machine? Yeah. Put a little nose on this. So it'll start to feed. Here we go. It starts to form. Wow. Let it rest for about seven minutes. And then we put it in the refrigerator overnight. What kind of bagel are we going to make today? Sesame bagels. Got it. We want to make sure our boiler is rolling boil. Honey and malt syrup mixture. Yeah, the Iron Chef doesn't do enough that now what? she needs to Oh, I'm going to put it in. The honey and the malt is so important. Ready? Yeah, let's see. How long are you going to boil it for? 30 to 45 seconds. When it's kind of co uh, cooked, we'll scoop them out and put the sesame seeds on. We're going to get a good crust on it in the oven for about four minutes, okay. and then we're going to flip, flip it. it over. Got it. Let's make bulgogi meat. Let's do it. Garlic and some fresh ginger, sesame oil, soy sauce, cola, and a little bit of brown sugar. Just pulse it. On to flank steak. That's it. We're going to finish it off on a flat top. Got it. All right, let's make the kimchi. All right, let's do it. Water. So Napa cabbage, a bunch of salt. How long are we going to let this set up? Five to six hours. Drain it upside down. Or well, otherwise, it'll get really soggy. Yes. Now we're into the kimchi base. Red bell pepper, salted shrimp. Fish sauce. Garlic. Ginger. ginger. And sugar. We're just going to pulse it. It's a little coarse. Rice paste. The key to all of kimchi. Gochukaru, cilantro and the scallions. Get in between all Get the Get in between. All right, so let this go for up to a week. Mm -hmm. Now for the kimchi cream cheese, walk me through that. OK, cream cheese, chopped kimchi, sambal, green onions, gochukaru, fresh ginger. That all gets mixed together. And after a day, that cream cheese will have all that flavor all the way through it. All Amazing. of it, yeah. All right, let's see it. With the toasted sesame bagel, we want to make sure we put a good layer of kimchi cream cheese. Bulgogi beans. Smells good. And American cheese. Pickle onions, kimchi that we made. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. You can have some scraps over here. Excuse me, sir. It's going to be a big, messy bite. Mm -hmm. mm. The bagel mm -hmm. is dynamite. It's got great chew. It's amazing. The bulgogi, you can put that on a flip flop, but it's a really <laughs> well constructed sandwich. Thank I mean, you. I almost thought you were going to have too much of the kimchi cream cheese, but there's the right amount of considering the amount of bagel that there is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's dynamite. I have the Korean mama. The beef was so tender, and it just had a little bit of a spice. The combination of the meat and the kimchi, really excellent. You go to Texas, you better find some real deal brisket. You head up to Seattle, better be some fresh seafood. Over to Chicago, it's got to be the bomb pizza. So when you end up here on the East Coast, what should you expect? That's right, righteous bagels. We're here in Plainsboro, New Jersey, and this is Bagel Street Grill. Chicken Rafino, order up. New Jersey definitely knows good bagels. Turkey, lettuce, tomato, and sesame. Everything with cream cheese. That's a legit bagel? Legit. Best in the state. Seriously. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. That's because owners and brothers, Jimmy and Doug Rohr, have been busting out bagels since they were teenagers. Part-time job while we were in college. And we were like, wow, this is a great business. Let's do it. Let's do it ourselves. So they opened their first joint together back in 1988. Now the next person. And they're still sticking with the tried and true. You have to boil a bagel. We do it the old-fashioned way. And they're putting out some volume. We do about 15,000 bagels a week, 28 varieties. Are there four other brothers that do the work? 
two jalapeno cheddar bagels. Order up. A jalapeno cheddar bagel is my favorite. A little bit spiced. <laughs> got to be ready for it. OK, you've got like the legit bagel equipment. Yes. This is what you need to produce a lot of them. Give me the rundown, Holmes. First, we're going to start with the basic plain dough. We start off with uh, some sugar, some salt in there. We're going to put our water in now. Water. Some yeast. And then turn around. We're going to grab a bag of flour here. <laughs> this is a 50-pound dough. How long will this go? We got about 15 minutes. In about 10 minutes, we'll start throwing in our, our ingredients. Our jalapenos and the cheddar? And the cheddar cheese. OK. Yeah. That thing's huge. And you didn't even roast the jalapenos or anything. No, we want it to kick. Yeah, the juicy <laughs> style, right? Yeah, that's it. So now what happens? I'm going to cut equal strips to put right in this machine right here. OK. This first section is going to divide the dough into equal portions. It's going to drop onto this conveyor and form the bagel. Do they have a home version of this? Because I want one. <laughs> yeah, right? We're going to run this a little slow. It goes faster than this. Oh, yeah. This thing makes about 10,000 an hour if you really crank it up. There's no way I could keep up. But you got like 18 fingers, dude. I'm already watching this. I've done a few bagels in my no, life. No, you think? <laughs> and from here, these will proof for three hours. Then they go dark for the night. That's it. And bake them first thing in the morning. All right, let's go. First, we boil our bagels. We slide them in. <laughs> They've gotten puffy. OK. We're going to transfer them over onto these kiln-dried redwood boards. This dude gets after it. This is kind of like angry hot dough Tetris. <laughs> We're going to put them in the oven for about three minutes on these boards. Good. What temp are we running at? About 495. 495. These are ready to flip. The plastic gloves, again, are going to be your only four. No problem. No fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and how long are they going to ride the carousel of heat? For about 20, 25 minutes in here now. And then we can do 12 dozen per shelf, five shelves in that oven. That's 60 dozen. Keep them going all day long. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. There we go. Look at that crust on it. We Man, should cut, cut it first. Okay. Do we toast it? I we... like them toasted. I want to toast it. I'll go veggie spread. Vegetable cream cheese. What's in it? Scallions, carrots, broccoli, a little bit of onion powder in there. Brother, I've had a lot of jalapeno bagels. And all they do is walk the jalapeno over the top. You get serious. There's heat in that. I mean, you smell the jalapeno. I don't mind. To see the whole process go through, it makes you appreciate it so much more. That crust, that chew, soft in the middle, nice texture on the outside. <laughs> Real deal, brother. Real deal. Jalapeno with cream cheese. It's got the perfect crunch on the top. The cheddar has like a nice mildness to it that counteracts with the jalapeno. I need two Asiago bagels grilled. So probably my favorite Neapolitan pizza chef in the world is Roberto from Don Antonio's. And Rafael, his son-in-law. So brother, you lived in New York City long enough. You know good bagels. Yes. How are these bagels? Amazing. A bagel is very simple, but very similar to a Neapolitan pizza. Absolutely. Really good ingredients, handle it the right way, have the right equipment to cook it, and if you don't mess with it, it'll be perfect. Well, you're right. It's very simple. But a simple start doesn't mean there isn't a big finish. Pork roll loaded burger, order up. Tater tots are on top on an Asiago bagel. The burger, it's got chunks of pork roll built into it. Pork roll is a type of ham you can't get anywhere else. It's the staple of New Jersey, so why not put it in a burger? You can't go anywhere in New Jersey and not find a breakfast or a lunch place that doesn't have pork roll. Everybody loves this. All right, so what are we going to do with it? We're going to open this thing up here and dig into that canvas. You know it's good when it's got canvas. We're going to cut about a pound of this off. It is cooked. It is cooked. OK. We're going to cube it up. And then you're going to fry it? Yes. And then stuff it into the burger. Yes. That's deep fried pork roll. It tastes like a cross between salami and bologna. It's like bologna with texture. You nailed it. All right, let's see what you do. We start with our chopped meat. We're going to load it with our pork roll, two eggs. Got it. Minced garlic. A bunch of it. Worcestershire sauce. Sauce, 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 sauce. Oh, load yeah. It. Onion powder, salt and pepper, and breadcrumbs. Mix this up. Patty it up, flat top. And right alongside of it, we're going to grill our Asiago bagel. All right. Top that with our pork roll loaded burger. We're going to add our tater tots, fresh out of the fryer. Our house-made Thousand Island dressing. What is wrong with you? <laughs> this should be illegal, but it's good. You got salty, 
fatty, an awesome bagel. The little nuggets with the pork roll, you get your french fry already built into it. When you have a bagel joint and you want to play mad scientist and make something for people in the New Jersey area who love pork roll, that's your burger. Pork roll burger? The bagels make the sandwich better. Have you ever had pork roll? Yeah, I know it, but I never tasted like this. Morning, guys. It's very nice food all the way around. Just one more bite, just one hit, just for the flavor. Okay. Nice job. Thanks. Pop that to go. So I'm here in the Cambridge Somerville area, right outside of Boston, to check out a joint where this chef was going to be a school teacher. Once you kind of change gears and decided to open a restaurant, offering up one of my favorite things. It's something that takes so much time, so much energy, and it's really a labor of love. It's bagels. This is Bagelsaurus. We need three jumbos. Mary came up with these bagels, and she really puts her heart and soul into every single sandwich. She's ruined BLTs for me. I, I can no longer have them on toast. I have to have them on a bagel source bagel. There's a whole slew of bacon. There's oven roasted tomatoes, which are sweet. And there's a spicy pepper cream cheese that is delicious. What's the deal? We're going to make a BLT with this onion bagel. Let's see it. Water. Our sourdough starter. That's a day ago that you built that. Yep. It's proofed. Malt syrup. Flour, table salt. Gonna let this go for a little bit. Instant yeast. Roasted onions. The onions by themselves are awesome. Poppy seeds. This will mix for about nine minutes. Proof the dough. Yes. During those couple of hours, we're going to do a series of folds that simulates hand mixing. Then how does it go from that stage into being made into a bagel? Then we like to cool it for a little bit in the fridge. And then... Are you sticking with me on this? I mean, we've only been here for an hour, and we're only in the mixing part. Bagel does coming out. That's one huge bagel. That's too big. <laughs> we're going to let them rest. This is like six days in making one bagel. There are different ways you can shape a bagel. You can do like a snake. How was, and, and what was that part again? Like a snake. Oh, that looked like yeah. a dance move to me. Or you can do the hula. So through there. With a little flare. Yes. Yeah. See that with a little knee bend I threw oh, in there? Oh, yes. They're going to proof for a while and then rest overnight in the fridge. These are going to go for one more day. That's right. Oh, my gosh. We do a quick boil, 30 to 40 seconds. Next up. This is the final step, so we're just going to put them in the oven, believe it or not. No, that's yes. impossible. We have to do something to them. How long is this going to make? About 20 minutes or 50. So bagels are out of the oven, and what are you going to make me? Spicy pepper cream cheese. Good. We have pickled jalapenos that we So made. house pickled jalapenos. We have roasted poblanos, and then waz those up. Red chili flake, salt. Blend that together with our cream cheese. So we also make our oven roasted tomatoes in-house. We have plum tomatoes tossed with chopped garlic, salt, sugar, pepper, thyme, extra virgin olive oil, and they go in 250-degree oven for four hours. OK, chef. Our onion bagel. Toast it up. Spicy pepper cream cheese. Our oven-roasted tomatoes, red leaf lettuce, bacon on top. Love it. The only thing that I don't like about this bagel is that one quarter of it's already gone. <laughs> As a bagel, it's of the best we've ever had on the show. Light, tender, great chew, bacon's great, but these oven-roasted plum tomatoes, the acid of that cut with the fat and the spiciness of the jalapenos and poblanos in the cream cheese, you're a dangerous woman. I'm not kidding you. Appreciate that, guy. BLT with spicy cream cheese on an yeah. onion bagel. You get some sweetness from the tomato and some smokiness from the crisp bacon. The spicy cream cheese has a lot of like heat to it. 